actually, oh my god, mom, hi. I had to, just because. Hi, you. Oh. Get out! Uh, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my Q&A video. I asked you guys to ask me questions about anything you wanted to with the hashtag AskJayThings. So I got a couple of questions, so I'm going to answer them now. So without further ado, let us get started. I'm just going to read the questions off of my phone because I'm way too lazy to remember them. So, <laughs> sorry, deal with it. The first question is from Marta Ferreria. And she asks, what book do you think would give an amazing movie and which one could be adapted into a TV series? TV series, 100% Cinder, like the Lunar Chronicles, that whole thing. Oh my god, I would watch that TV series so hard. Like, oh, it would be so good. I'm pretty sure I did a like Top 5 Wednesday with top 5 books I want to see as TV shows or movies, so I'll link that up above if you want to check that out. Shameless promotion. The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tours would be such a sick movie, I think. I, think, I mean, it would be probably hard to do. It would be rated R, but I think that could be fun. I think it could be fun. Next question is from Molly. Hi, Molly. I love you. And she asks, can you come to America and give me a hug one day, Molly? Eventually, I will come to America and I will give you the biggest hug ever. It'll be amazing because you're so tiny and I'm so tall and it'll just be so cute and I just want to squish you so hard. But yes, one day, eventually, I will come give you a hug. The next question is from Spidey. And she asked, if you were in the Hunger Games and could only bring one item with you from your bathroom, what would you bring and why? Bleach. That's the only, like, dangerous thing I can think of. So I would just, like, splash somebody with the bleach and hopefully it, like, burns their skin and they leave me alone. And hopefully they don't have anything, like, dangerous, like, a gun. Because then my bleach ain't gonna do shit. The next question is from Jennifer Bardsley, and she's the author of Genesis Girl, which I read a while ago. I have a review of that book if you want to check that out. More shameless promotion. But she asked, how long does it take you to create a video? It depends on the video. I'm pretty fast with filming. My videos, like, without editing is usually, like, 10 minutes long of me just babbling, and then it takes me about, like, 20 to 40 minutes to edit, depending how long the unedited version is. And then it takes, like, three hours to export because my computer sucks. So, it really just depends on the video, but without the exporting, probably, like, an hour and a half, I would say, for the whole production. The next question is from Ellie Pilcher, and she asks, what is your favorite genre of books? My favorite genre of books is thrillers. I have a Top 5 Wednesday of thriller recommendations if you guys want to check that out. More shameless promotion. This is basically not a Q&A. This is just Jay promoting herself. So. But yeah, thrillers. A lot of people think that it's YA, but no. Love me some thrillers. That's like my shit right there. The next question is from Devin Munn, and they are asking, what are your favorite TV shows? I like American Horror Story. I've only watched the most recent season of it. But I've only seen like one or two episodes because school is kicking my butt right now, so I haven't had time to watch the whole thing, but I'm gonna marathon it in December after exams because then I have like a week of no classes, so that's my TV watching time. I also really like 60 Days In, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have no idea what show that is, but it's basically a show where they take people from the outside community and they put them in jail for 60 days, and nobody in the jail knows that they're in there, but it's supposed to like be a reality TV show where they're getting insight for the sheriff about the jail system, and it's like so interesting to watch, and it's just like, why would somebody want to go in jail for 60 days? But it's so addictive, you have to watch it. The next question is from CJ Campbell, and he has like a million of them, so... The first question from CJ is, what got you into basketball? Is it something you intended to do for a long time, or do you have a cutoff date? I originally started playing basketball when I was around four or five in, like, a house league because my dad is, like, huge on basketball. He loves it so much. He's, like, an amazing player. He's in the OUA Hall of Fame. And everybody worships him here in Hamilton. Not really, but we'll pretend to make him feel better. You're welcome, Dad. He really got me into it, and then once I was eight, I started playing rep, and then... In grade seven, I made a team that was like number one in the province, and then I moved on to Jewel, which is basically one step below varsity, which is university level. I then made the University of Toronto CIS women's basketball team, and I played there for two years, and I got a concussion last year, and I wasn't able to play this year because of it, which really sucks, and I miss it a lot. So right now I'm not really playing any basketball, which is unfortunate for me, but, you know, maybe I'll get back to it, hopefully one day. The next question that CJ asked is, what genre of the bookish type do you prefer, i.e. sci-fi, horror, mystery, etc., etc.? Is this reflected in the TV shows, movies you watch? I, again, I really like thriller books. I would say, yeah, probably it's reflected in the movies and TV shows I watch. I like thriller movies and TV shows a lot more than I like 
be like fluffy stuff like I do like comedies but I would rather watch like a scary movie or something like that. The next question from CJ is what interests do you do that you don't put on YouTube? Honestly I don't really do that much other than like reading and I like baking a lot of people don't know that. But I don't really do anything other than school and reading and baking so I'm a very boring individual. <laughs> CJ also asks what is your favorite travel or holiday destination? I haven't really been a lot of places I went on a cruise, and we went to, like, Jamaica and St. Martin and St. Thomas, and those were nice. But I haven't really been anywhere other than, like, Florida and Cuba. I go with Cuba, but I was, like, five, so does it really count? No. DJ also asks what my favorite food is. My favorite food is crab legs. I love them so much. Also, sushi. Really like sushi. CJ also asks, are you a homemaker or a rebel rouser? I don't know what that means, but I'm going to say that I'm a homemaker because I'm pretty boring and don't do anything exciting. So, we're gonna go with Homemaker. The next question, also from CJ, is do you game Xbox or similar? I play PlayStation. I haven't for a very long time though, but my game of choice is Fallout. Love Fallout. If you haven't played Fallout, please play Fallout because it's a lot of fun. The next question, also from CJ, is new books or pre-owned thrift store? I prefer new books. But, they're like $30 here and your girl broke. So, your girl goes to the thrift store to get her books. And honestly, I don't really care that much. Obviously, I would rather have a new book because they're prettier. But, price-wise, a thrift store, 100%. The next question, also from CJ, is are woolly jumpers really made by crossing a sheep with a kangaroo? Yes. The final question from CJ is hard or soft book covers. I 100% prefer hard covers because they stay open when you're reading them. With paperbacks, I really don't like cracking spines, so I hate having to read them unless they're floppy paperbacks. So, I would probably say hardcovers are way better. This question is from Lena Quintanilla. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm so sorry, girl. What Disney character do you find yourself relating to the most and why? Okay, I'm gonna be totally generic and say Belle because she's into that whole reading thing. And also, my boyfriend calls himself the Beast, so it's just, it just works. It just works. We're Beauty and the Beast. That's what we call each other. I know we're super lame, but Belle because she reads and because I am Belle. So, yeah. Ding. Lena also asks, what are your top five go-to snacks? <laughs> Popcorn, pretzels and hummus, Ice coffee? Does that count? I don't know if that counts as a snack, but ice coffee. Any form of chocolate, like literally any form of chocolate is amazing. And ketchup chips, so good. And also by Lena, what was your favorite movie when you were growing up? The Lion King. 100% The Lion King, that was my shit. It is still my shit. I will watch that movie a million times and never get tired of it. The next question is from my friend Adam Baker. Hi Adam, I love you little jellyfish. And he asks, who suggested you do this? And the answer is you, Adam. You suggested I do this. The next question is from Alexis Garcia and she asks, what fictional character would you murder? Wow, that is morbid. <laughs> Eleanor's dad from Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Hate. So much hate for that man. Also, Hayden's dad from Burned by Ellen Hopkins. Would also murder him. Hate him. Who else? I'm sure I could think of a lot more people if I really thought about it. Because I have a lot of hate for a lot of people. <laughs> We're going to keep our anger to ourselves and not kill anybody. Because that's wrong. Violence is not the answer, children. Remember that. The next question is from my mother. Hi, Mommy. I love you. And she asks, if you were stranded on a deserted island and could only have one book with you, which would it be? Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Henderson. Oh my god, it is so good. I'm gonna have a review of it up on like December 4th, I believe, but oh my god, that book is so good, guys. You need to read it. So good. Next question is from Sandy Reads a lot, and she asks, what fictional character would you want to have as a best friend? I would want to have Aiko from the Lunar Chronicles as my best friend. Because she is just so cool, honestly. I think she would be so much fun to hang out with and just chill with and like have as like an older sister kind of figure. Ugh, she'd be amazing, so definitely her. And the final question, which I get on every single one of my videos, is from Barcoon. And he asks, can you make a burp video? You have a nice burp talent. No, I don't know how many times I need to tell you this, sir, but it's never going to happen. I'm not going to make a burp video. Stop asking. Thank you. Okay guys, so those were all the questions that you guys asked me. I don't know if you guys even really care that much about my answers, but I had fun filming this. And if you ever want another Q&A, then let me know down below, because it was fun. So I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!